Hi folks, I'm Modulus. I'm back for another build update. And uh, so for this time, it's going to be this kit, uh, Tails Netherlands Goalkeeper. It's a closed-in weapon system. And this kit is from RPG models and at uh, 135th scale. So I think uh, a couple of days ago, I've done the unboxing and, uh, you know, I showed you some, you know, a little bit of review on this kit. So I got this started and uh, it didn't take me too long. Uh, and I've uh, moved on quickly on the build. And in fact, uh, I have moved on and, you know, until almost at the last step. But there are still some minor things that I have to do. So I'll just run through this uh, quickly with you. So I've done the uh, this first step on the radar. And then uh, this entire thing here. And uh, this is actually like one sub-assembly up until this part here. So for this part, uh, it's going to be this. Everything has been uh, assembled and including the uh, photo edge. So I found this to be quite straightforward. Nothing too difficult there. The photo edge is uh, very thick, so easy to work with. And the thing about this kit, uh, this would be something similar to a tank. You can actually just uh, assemble the whole thing and you know paint it last instead of uh, painting certain portions. So for this for this sub assembly part here, I have uh, completed it. And this would be the other side. So for the other side here would be this. Uh, this is also completed. And uh, there are some small parts uh, here. I'll just uh, zoom it up. So you can see these are like probably the door handles. And these are very small but not so difficult to attach and then um, next would be the barrel uh, I've actually skipped the barrel and moved on to the base first so this is the base uh, very simple uh, there's an eye bolt here probably for the when it's initially attached to the uh, to the ship, they probably have to carry this whole thing. So that's probably that purpose there. Then there is this. Uh, this would be one of the base. And actually, this is almost at the last step. Uh, for this radar dome here, there are quite a, a lot of uh, parts involved here. So that would be this uh, thing here. I think uh, this is still moving around because I just glued it, it's not dry. So this would be the, the radar dome. And then after this step is actually all the sub-assemblies coming together to the base and it's actually done. So let me just go back to the barrel, which I'm actually uh, halfway here. So this is the how far I've worked on. So I've actually pre-painted this uh, this barrel and this piece here because uh, if I don't paint it, I don't think I can uh, paint this barrel later because it's gonna be inside this. Uh, all these beams here and also the inside of the beams uh, also have you know have to be painted so it has to be 
painted first. So a few points about this thing here. Um, the instruction tells you to attach this this and then you know all the way here until here then this piece comes in but my advice would be once you've fitted this piece oh by the way this piece you will have to drill the holes bigger because uh, it would not fit into the barrel and then once you've fitted this piece in it's better if you put this piece piece uh, to hold the other side of the all these barrels so that it's in you know you will hold it in shape um, this piece has had no issues with the holes it will fit into the the, the brass barrels but uh, only this piece and the front piece here you will have to actually drill the holes uh, with a pin vise to make it bigger so that it can slide into the barrels. So I think the reason for that why it didn't fit is because I've painted this quite thick and uh, you know it probably uh, got thicker so it didn't fit but you can actually just uh, drill holes onto that to fit it in. And there is this uh, small piece here, I've put it in, but all these small pieces have not been attached, so I will have to do that. Then after this, uh, there are few other parts here that goes to the barrel, which I have already cut up here and cleaned up. So once that is done, then everything goes to the, the sub-assemblies and I should be done. So after attaching everything, then I will start painting the entire thing in grey, then uh, some, some places in black. So just like a tank, uh, you know, you can actually paint off uh, once you have completed the whole build except for this part where I'll just mask this part off and then paint the rest of it then decals and I should be done so it's, uh, it's quite a quick build a uh, few points to note uh, for example like this part here uh, the labeling is wrong it is not this number here. You will find that this piece, this number will, will be a different piece. But since this kit is uh, it's not too many parts, uh, it won't be difficult to find the actual parts. And there are a few other things I noticed. I can't remember which one, but there are a few other parts with wrong labelings. But those things are... Uh, you can find you you will actually find the parts easily so besides that uh, i think nothing much and another thing is uh, i found that these plastics uh, i thought it was a hard plastic but when i cut cut it off from the sprue and tried to clean it uh, it is actually soft uh, bit softer so uh, some difficulties like when you when you're sanding it leaves a lot of uh, scratch marks because the plastic is really soft unlike the trumpeters uh, harder but you know just sand off and uh, you know use a finer grade to finally smoothen it out so no not too much uh, issues on that. So this would be it for now for this update and uh, after this I I think I will probably get this done in uh, maybe another one or two more days and I'll bring another update. So until then thanks for watching I uh, hope you like this video and for those who are uh, following and 
haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. So until the next time, um, stay tuned and take care. Bye.